Hello and welcome to the CCNP Routing and Switching course offered by Simply Learn. The last lesson focused on Layer 3 path control. The following lesson focuses on redistribution. Let us begin with the objectives of the lesson in the next slide. By the end of this lesson, you will be able to explain the need for redistribution and its techniques. Explain how AD is used to influence redistribution. Configure and verify redistribution for RIP, EIGRP, OSPF, and BGP. Let us start our discussion on redistribution. Is there a need to redistribute routes from one routing source into another? Yes, and the reasons are as follows. Portions of networks especially in large enterprises, may have static routes or older routing protocols. Companies acquire other firms and absorb their networks and protocols completely. In the next slide, let us look at the complications in redistributions. Why is redistribution complicated? The major reason is that each routing protocol keeps different information about the network. For example, EIGRP maintains information about reported distance, but OSPF does not. Such constructs are not easily translated from one protocol to another. This brings up the question, is information in the IP routing table alone used for redistribution? No, it is not. For efficient traffic flow in the network, there is a mechanism to configure information for the redistributed routes. This sounds simple in theory, but there are some caveats in practice. Let us now look at the issues caused by redistribution. Issues caused by redistribution are as follows. Routing feedback, also called domain loops, can occur. This will be discussed in detail under multipoint redistribution. Routing protocols have incompatible routing information. Each routing protocol uses different metrics to determine the best path, and hence it cannot be translated exactly into a different protocol. This may lead to suboptimal paths. Different routing protocols converge at different rates. For example, RIP converges more slowly than EIGRP. So if a link goes down, the EIGRP network learns about it before the RIP network. Note that redistribution adds to a network's complexity and should be used only when necessary. Let us now look at the various redistribution techniques. 